Well, good morning. Welcome back out along the Causeway Coast. Now, you've probably heard me talk about this in a couple of vlogs before, trying to kind of work more than just a single image, considering projects, be that long running projects that may last weeks, months, or even years. But actually the joy of shorter projects and they can last as little as a morning or an afternoon and that's kind of what I'm out for today to see whether I can collect a, a few images that will go together in a, a little bit of a little bit of a project now it's more than simply a project that's going to live digitally somewhere I'm actually hoping to start putting together these short run projects into handmade books. You know, I think one of the most important things for myself during these lockdown times and during these restricted movement times is keeping the creative juices flowing. And certainly for me, what I'm trying to do is explore other forms of creativity. And that is perhaps seeing my images put together in, in a little book. Now you might be looking behind me and think, doesn't look like that great weather, Nigel. And it's not. It's gray, it's overcast, not a huge amount of wind, not huge texture in the clouds. But actually this is the sort of day that is, for me, perfect for this kind of endeavor. And that's no real pressure. I'm just out for a little bit of a dander be out for a couple of hours and I'm thinking kind of a minimalist long exposure maybe in a square format well actually given the fact that I'm looking to create a little book most definitely in a square format now I don't think I'll get all of the images today in fact I would be very surprised if I did but I'm looking to maybe have 10 images in the book that allows me to make a a blank page at the start and a blank page at the end in the type of little handmade book that I'm hoping to create. But maybe over the next two or three days, maybe come out, grab a few images, and then have enough that allow me to maybe in the next week or so put together the start point of a handmade book. Now, I'm not quite sure the type of book I'm going to make. As I say, I know it's going to have 10 images in it but I'm not sure whether I'm going to make a threaded book or whether I'm just going to make a folded book. And I'm certainly no expert in bookmaking, but this is all a, a learning process. And I would certainly like to, you know, develop this whole thought process of having my images collected together and actually something tangible at the end of it. So we'll go for a little bit of a wonder and see whether we can collect the first couple of images for this little handmade book. So the kind of look that I'm going for is a very long exposure. Now I was hoping to sort of get this at around five minutes or so. The problem is I've got a 10 stop and I've got a 16 stop. Now we are quite overcast as I said and the 16 stop even if I have my aperture at something like you know 5.6 or something um, we're still getting like a 12-13 minute exposure which I might end up doing but what I've done initially is I've put the 10 stop on along with the polarizer. Now that without being too scientific might give me about a, between a 12 and a 13 filtration and that with f11 again i would prefer it to be about f8 um, but f11 was giving me about two and a half minutes exposure so we're going to see what this looks like first of all otherwise we might have to do some seriously long exposures so one of the things i love about long exposure photography is just the time it affords you you know especially if you, when you're doing really long exposures you can just kind of take in the scene maybe look at other compositions as, as well so actually right, so this is approaching the two and a half minute mark 
let's see what it looked like. So we are blowing out in the highlights there, so I reckon about a two minute exposure. Um, what I've done as well is obviously on the Fujifilm cameras to put it into the square aspect ratio, which is the aspect ratio that I want to shoot in and I want to produce the little book in. Um, that's going to end up giving me a JPEG. Now, nine times out of 10, I threw the JPEG away. But what I've done as well is, as well as throwing myself into the black and white Arcos with a red filter simulation on it, um, I've also added a little bit of in-camera grain as well. Um, not that I don't, not that I think I'll use the JPEG. You never know. I, I might, um, but I wanted to just see what that looked like as a as a concept. Um, and then obviously, if I have the raw file, I can then add some additional grain to it in in post. But. I really, really like how the I really like how the grain has has shown up there now. I'm obviously using the 18 to 135 at the moment, and I'm at about 30 mil now. Because I'm already cropping in now, I'm not going to be producing massive prints. I'll be able to crop in on this in post, but I'm really trying to be more precise. You know, it can all be too easy now in digital world with lots of megapixels that we just get lazy. So I think what I'm going to do as well is, as well as uh, reducing the exposure time to about two minutes or so, I'm actually just going to crop in just a little bit more, just to bring more sort of emphasis to that pier, because that's really what it's, what it's all about. So let's do that. just one thing I'm watching and you may even notice it now there is just a little bit of light coming through so I haven't taken another exposure reading but I'm just kind of thinking to myself I'm actually going to drop the exposure down maybe by another 10 10 seconds or so certainly zooming in I, I much prefer the the look zoomed in now of course I'm still going to have the full 3 by 2 aspect ratio with a raw file but I'd rather get a nice tight crop to work from. But yeah, we're just getting a little bit of light coming in now and that's kind of shining on onto the pier a little bit, which is giving me a little bit of a reflection in the water as well. So that's kind of helping things along. So I think this is gonna be about a one minute 45 exposure. We'll see how that looks and then we might move on. So I've actually brought myself up to little, the, the headland that we normally do on our little daily walks. We've always left it up here. Um, plenty of compositions looking down into the into the sea. And um, now the light has kind of disappeared now. We actually started to get a little bit of sun breaking through there. I think I think I just caught it at the very last moment. So again just trying to kind of simplify the the composition um, again using the polarizer just to give me a little bit of extra filtration along with the 10 stop and that was giving me about a two about a two minute 10 second exposure there's a little bit of foam down around the bottom rock and unfortunately i think that's going to be quite distracting um, i quite like the subtle sort of mistiness of the water to the right hand side but just where that foam is accumulating, I think it's actually giving us just a little bit, a little bit too bright. Now what I might do is I might take another exposure now. This time expose way under. So maybe do something like about a, a one minute 30 or something, one minute 20, and see whether I can maybe save this in, in post. I love the texture of the rocks. Um, and I really do like the kind of color of the sea, but it's just that one big blotch of white that I think maybe is uh, letting things down, so. So 
So good morning again. And I say good morning again because it's now several days after that last piece the camera was recorded. When I got home and looked at those images, um, nice enough and I, I do quite like the, the the effect that the grain has on the on the JPEG. But I'm not sure for this particular obviously because I'm thinking of putting this together in a little mini body of work, 10 images. I kind of want them to sort of work together and for that I think the images need to be a little bit more minimal. Now potentially the one up on the headland may work but I don't think the harbour one works. I think it's just a little bit too too busy. So I'm coming back out again this morning and literally I mean live up, up here just and I've shot this little sort of breaker a number of times before most notably with my X100T which still to this day is my most popular uh, vlog out there but I think this is more in keeping with the kind of style that I want to produce this little book with very minimal perhaps very calming obviously keeping up the, the black and white with um, square format so again XT4 18 to 135 we're probably out at about 35 mil got the polarizer on and I've got the a 10 stop ND on and I'm getting about a one minute at f8 I'm getting about a one minute exposure time now with the polarizer there is obviously a little bit of sheen wet on that sort of um, walkway and of course what the polarizer allowing me to do is take just a little bit of that sheen off and actually I'm trying both trying it with them and without the polarizer in sort of full polarization and partly polarized so and I do think that's a little bit more in keeping with the sort of style of image that perhaps I want to populate this little mini mini handmade book with So I've actually just moved myself a couple of footsteps to the right and there's another one of these little stone walkways. Now I kind of, I'm out at about, well I still am at about 35 mil, but whereas before I was only including the walkway itself, I've actually decided to include some of the sort of breaker as, as well. And I really do think that this is the style of image that I want to have in this book, very minimal sort of obviously surrounded by by water a body of water and maybe just one one or two objects in it i think that makes for perhaps a, a more calming image which is what i'm trying to go for here um, for this particular little handmade book now the image that i got off the harbor you know probably by itself it's a it's a, it's a fine image but i just don't think it's going to be one that um i'll i'll use now that in, it, in itself has been a useful exercise because I say when I got home, when I got home, I thought, no, that's not the type of image that I want. The one up on the on the coast probably was more like. I'm still not sure that will be included. I think again, that's just another little sketch. But I really do like what's sort of being being created here. So again, XT4 18 to 135, about 35 mil polarizer and a 10 stop. And in this instance, I think I'm getting, again, about a minute of exposure time. Rather nice. So back in the office and just recording a very quick outro, um, I'm going to cut these videos up probably into three different parts. Um, the second part, I'll start to talk a little bit about the, the design and then we'll go back out into the field and pick up another couple of images. 
and then the final part will be reviewing the images and obviously putting the book back together. So those images that I captured in this first video, not sure any of them are going to work in the book, but that's all part of the fun. I think I'll need a collection of images before I can even decide how, how that's going to look. But I'm looking forward to going back out again over the next couple of days. Now obviously I'm not going to show the collection of every single image on these vlogs. But what I'll do in the next episode is we'll collect another couple. And as I say I'll start to talk a little bit about the design. But for now I hope you've enjoyed this little first entry of my hopefully handmade book series. And until next time thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.